you will fail as a developer if you do this thing that I'm gonna talk about in this video. Six years ago, I started learning code because I was sick and tired of being a barista. I was literally hating every single day going at work. My hands were burned from making all those coffees. My back hurt. My body was aching every single day. I had to wake up early. I had to sacrifice literally my entire life to go to work for eight hours, 10 hours per day, almost every single day. And then I was coming home after I was exhausted and I had to put another four or five hours of, you know, grind in order to learn code and change my, my life completely, okay? But for six months or so, I was doing everything wrong. Even though on the paper, you know, I was a hard worker, I was motivated, you know, I didn't need anyone to tell me to work. You know, I was self-motivated. I was showing up every single day and I was even studying some stuff at work. I wasn't a lazy person by any, any means, right? I was a hard worker, but the problem was that I was hard working like a barista. I was doing hard work only. And I spent so much time going literally nowhere. I was literally spinning my wheels. Probably can relate to this. You are coding a lot or you are ready to code a lot because you want to change your life. But then you'll encounter a big, big problem. And that problem is the fact that you are not working smart. As you know, being a developer is not about working hard, but it's working smart, using your head in the right way to solve problems, etc., etc., using your code. Now, this whole thing, my whole life changed when I met this guy. Uh, he was my first mentor. His name was John, and he was one of the customers from the coffee shop. And he gave me this precious advice, you know, that you hear from pretty much everyone. And I'm telling you this advice all the, probably in all my videos, but you need to hear it sometimes from someone or in some sort of context. And that advice is going to change your life. And that piece of advice is to build projects. And the reason why I'm telling you that you have to work smart is because if you just work hard and don't get me wrong, working hard is important. This is a prerequisite for achieving any kind of goal that you might have, you know, but working hard alone is not going to help you at all. Imagine, imagine you are LeBron James, right? And then you want to become the best basketball player in the world. And imagine every single day you are dribbling, you are passing the ball around, but you've never practiced like throwing the ball at the hoop. You've never practiced scoring, I guess, a, a point or however it's called in basketball. You never practiced that. Well, you just worked hard for no reason. You've just wasted hours and hours and hours training for absolutely no reason. And I was in that specific situation for many months, for six months. And probably you are there. I know people who've been in that situation for years, two, three years at least. They are working hard and they get nothing in return. And again, this, this idea for this video came from seeing this kid, uh, seeing this kid uh, on the escalator. So the escalator are those automatic stairs that go either up or down, right? And this specific one was riding down, right? So people were taking it from floor one to go to floor zero, right? And this kid was at the bottom at floor zero and he was trying to go up on the escalator that was going down. And he was going nowhere. Of, of course, he was playing around, but this made me realize like some people are just putting in the time, they are consistent and whatnot, but they are not going anywhere because they are trying to go up on an escalator that goes down, right? Some people might be trying to run, you know, some people are trying to run and some will fail somewhere in the middle and then they will go down, you know, they'll get tired and they'll go down. And they will give up and they'll say, hey, coding is not for them. It's a scam, you know, not, it's not made for them. Recruiters don't like it, they like them and whatnot. Some people are like really, really, really hard workers and they are just 
pushing it through okay and they get up the stairs and they are totally exhausted and <laughs> they just regret the way they've done it right and some people which are smarter they are just taking the escalator that's gonna take them up it's a very very simple uh, solution to a very complex problem another way to illustrate this problem or this situation is let's say you are in london and you want to go to new york well you can swim till new york that's fine but you can also take a boat with an engine and yeah the journey is going to be long but do you think your chances of getting to new york from london will be higher if you go on a boat or if you are swimming obviously if you have like two two neurons you'll be able to understand what is the correct answer but i'm making this video to kind of wake you up and to make you stop working so damn hard and start working smarter right because you don't have years to waste you don't want to waste your years trying to learn something that has already been systematized in such a way where you could learn it instantly you don't want to waste your years learning from courses and studying books and whatever you don't want to do that you want to get as much practice as fast as possible you want to be able to you know dedicate those two hours per day towards something that's gonna be rewarding in a few months from now on right you don't want to waste your time if you don't waste your time i'm sure there are other things that you could do you could be playing counter strike you could be, could be playing minecraft you could be going out for a beer with your mates there are so many other things that you could be doing but if you want to learn programming in an efficient way, in a fast way, in a way that makes sense, then you need to take a different approach, right? The first thing that you need to do is to understand that if I want to master this skill, I cannot learn it in the same way that I've been approaching learning in high school, right? You cannot get a textbook. Programming is one of those things where you actually have to get your hands dirty with code if you want to learn how to play piano like, yeah you can read a few books about it but you just have to start pressing the damn keys right? same thing same with basketball same with riding a bike same with swimming you have to actually do it and that's the beauty about it because if you do it every day and if you do it in the right way not only you'll be able to understand why you are learning certain concepts you understand why you actually need a loop why you need an array why you need an object if you actually start implementing those things right away theory is not gonna save you that much theory clicks when you have a lot of practice do you think you'll be able to learn the theory of programming you will be able to like literally fry through you don't know javascript that book series if you actually have one or two years experience of writing apps the theory is going to click instantly you just need to read a book once and you'll get it but if you start with the theory first well you won't have time for practice right start with practice refine your practice put time into practicing 95 percent of your time should be allocated towards creating stuff not you know learning new things you learn as you build right you have a problem and then you start thinking how can i solve this problem and then the missing knowledge is gonna reveal to yourself it's gonna be revealed and you'll find the answer and that's how you get better every single day so this is the secret sauce practice 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 of course, now you'll be asking like, hey, what should I practice? And there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to practice, okay? And here is where I pitch my stuff. So you've seen the testimonials on my website, on my YouTube. You can take it your way and it's gonna take you a lot of time to figure it out. A lot of time. And you'll be making all the mistakes that I've already seen or you could take the simpler way which is by applying for a free consultation call to see if you can be part of my mentorship program so 
I want to talk about my mentorship program for a little while. What do we do there? Well, it's a it's a program that is help until you get hired. All right, help until you get hired. So that means if you are dedicated, I'm going to work with you until someone will hire you. I don't think there is anyone out there that has this type of program. And the reason why I've made it like that is because when I was in your shoes years ago, I wanted to go to a bootcamp called General Assembly, right? And it was like eight, nine K or something like that. And I was afraid that I won't be able to learn some sort of concept in week two, and then I'm gonna lose month two and month three. And that was one of the reasons why I've made this uh, unlimited. Third thing is that this program is customizable. So if you think you're really good, that's fine. Perfect. I'm going to push you way further than you could ever push yourself because I know everything that you need to know, you know, to a certain extent. But if you're a beginner, it's even better because I'm going to help you skip all the bullshit, right? You don't need to do all the free code camp stuff where you don't understand why you need an array, why you need a for loop. You learn all that bullshit and then you don't know how to use it. I'm not like code, like code academy where I'm going to ask you to use Git and GitHub from day two where you don't actually need it and you don't really need to know how to use it at all until month six or seven or eight or nine. With me, you're only going to learn what you need at a specific moment in time. Not more, not less. The right thing at the right time. And again, I'm going to give you feedback every single day if you want. I'm going to help you out every single time you're getting stuck. We have live calls so you can come in, ask questions. You can learn from people that are way better than you and people that just started. So you're just going to soak in information every single day. It's up to you what you're going to get out of this program. But if you put in the time and the effort, you'll absolutely crush it. Okay. So the only way to find out how that will be is by applying for a free consultation call. The link for that is in the description of this video and that's it. Take care.